Should be a nice afternoon as we scan the skies. No rain, no storms to talk about. Now, yesterday we had quite a bit of rain. Some spots you can see uh, just to the northwest of Monroe, you can see about three inches of rainfall there over Almoral, almost three and a half inches, about the same near Ansonville, almost two inches around the Pineville area. Like a lot of rainfall yesterday in many spots. Uh, maybe your neighbor didn't get any as you get over towards Clover in South Carolina, about an inch and a third, just south of Lincoln, almost two inches of rainfall over there. We go back and show the shower activity that happened across the area late yesterday afternoon and early evening. Things have certainly calmed down. They had some uh, pretty powerful storms as far as rainfall tolls. A lot of cloudy ground lightning as well. We'll expand the view, show you we do have some showers off the Carolina coastline, Gulf of Mexico, some rain. Stormy weather across the midsection of the country, all the way across uh, parts of Kansas, Nebraska, down into Oklahoma. That's the extent of the big severe weather threat at the moment. For us, a mix of clouds and sunshine this morning. A few pop-ups this afternoon and tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to see widespread showers and storms for a couple of days. Now, the weekend, we'll get to that in a moment. That is a whole different situation as we head towards Sunday, especially rain and storms are likely. Then next Tuesday and Wednesday, pretty much dry weather, at least for a couple of days. As far as those uh, forecast high temperatures over the next 10, I would say upper 80s, low 90s, uh, but one day there is an exception. And notice on Monday, temperatures will be in the mid 80s. Otherwise, that is pretty typical July weather for the Carolinas, especially the Charlotte area. Check it out. Highs today near 91 at Shira in Chesterfield County in South Carolina. Over in uh, Burke County, Morgan, and they're in the upper 80s, upper 70s. Boone and Jefferson close to 90 degrees at Rock Hill and about the same right here in the Quinn City overnight with calm winds. Temperatures drop into the low 70s, much like we've seen the past couple of days. Check that guy roofing seven day forecast near 90s today. We are in the low 90s with a stray storm tomorrow. I think better coverage of some showers, but not a washout on Saturday. Sunday, yes, better chance we could see a rain, few storms, and there's that high of 85 degrees on Monday. And how about this? Some dry weather on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, both days upper 80s and low 90s. That's the forecast. Let's get a check on the commute. Here's Chris. Good morning.